and she leads the largest women-owned business in the U.S. Lynn Tilton is profiled in our Power Women series. When Bottom Line continues from the Bronx, she came to make a name in the male-dominated world of Wall Street. Now she wants to help rebuild America one company at a time. Power woman Lynn Tilton of Patriot Partners is next. Welcome back. This is Bottom Line on Bloomberg Television and streaming on your tablet, your phone, and Bloomberg.com. Tonight, our closer look at power women in the business world continues with Lynn Tilton. She is the founder and CEO of private equity firm Patriarch Partners, which owns 75 companies. My colleague Gigi Stone is here with the details. This is a very interesting profile. Right, Mark. Lynn Tilton is one of the most ultimate power women out there. She started this private equity firm, Patriarch partners and it's the largest woman owned business in the country. She has 120,000 employees. Now Tilton has turned around dozens of failing companies including Spiegel Catalogs, Rand McNally, Stila Cosmetics and MD Helicopters and she does it all with a personal mission. Listen. For me, uh, making money and making the world a better place are not mutually exclusive concepts. And my mission really is to give people the dignity of work. And to give people the dignity of work, in my belief, you have to be the maker of things, which means you have to put American manufacturing first. And as a woman who's been blessed to reach this level, I feel so important to lean in and actually reach forward and bring women up with me. So what kinds of things are you doing on both of those fronts? Well, with 75 companies and 120,000 employees, I'm certainly trying to put people back to work, and most of that is manufacturing. And now, really, the only thing I will buy is American manufacturing uh, to try to prove that this is the core of our economy. Um, I'm working very closely with Silicon Valley and, and great people like Peter Diamandis and Ray Kurzweil um, through XPRIZE and Singularity to be at the nexus of our old infrastructure manufacturing and smart technology because I really do think that's the future that allows us to make almost anything at home. And in terms of women, um, I recently won the X Prize uh, for a prize that would match any purse up to $5 million for any X Prize winning team that was 50% female leadership in the hope that if 30 teams compete with 20 people, that that would allow for 300 of them to be women. And once you see that happening and men see they're better served by having women by their side, that hopefully it would become contagious. What's so fascinating to me is so many of the companies uh, that you own at Patriot Partners are really male-dominated industries. Well, I never like going the easy path, right? <laughs> if it ain't tough, I don't do it. Um, but no, I mean, because manufacturing is what I love, and so, so much of manufacturing is defense and automotive and heavy. And so with the mission of you know, creating jobs and the dignity of work through manufacturing, it sent me into the male world, but I love it. I mean, there's nothing sexier than building aircraft. Um, the automotive industry, to me, is the core of American manufacturing, and had the industry not changed in 2009, I'm not sure people would have bet on American manufacturing again. So being part of that was so important to me and gives me you know, great pride to be part of that industry and part of the Detroit family. So. I think it's exciting. I love building things, and I realize that if you owned all the boys' toys or the companies that made them, you actually could rule the male world. What do you look for in some of the companies that you try to acquire? Is there a common thread? Uh, well, the common thread about the companies I acquire is that nobody else wanted them, that they were left on the heap of creative destruction. But what tells me that I can rebuild them is I love an iconic American brand. I love a brand name, whether it's, you know, MD Helicopters or Spiegel Catalogs or Rand McNally. If it resonates to people, I have a chance of rebuilding it. Then I look for a product that people either want or one that I can innovate to with incremental innovation and quickly. And then the most important facet is people. 
do I have the right people in the right positions? Because in the end, that's the defining force that will allow me to rebuild a company. That X Prize she was talking about encourages technological development that could benefit mankind. That's its purpose. And Tilton won hers for helping other women entrepreneurs succeed, as she explained. Very inspiring. What's that sound? That glass ceiling getting kicked in. <laughs> well, how are you wrapping up the week? We're going to be talking with Jen Groover. She founded one of the fastest growing handbag lines, but now she really works to help other women entrepreneurs launch their brands. And she's going to talk to us about that. This is such a great series. Thank you. I hope folks are looking at this online, too, because they can watch uh, the interviews at Bloomberg.com and on the bottom line site. Gigi, thanks so much. Uh, reminder, you can get the Bloomberg